Hello everybody and welcome to our latest segment of Equine Advocates virtual video tour. For those of you who have been following us since we started this series, we've been doing this since the pandemic started to keep all of you informed and updated about the horses here at the sanctuary until such time that we can reopen again for the public. Um, Today, uh, I want to introduce you to this really handsome horse. His name is Connor, and he has the distinction of being the cover boy of our wonderful new 2021 calendar. What's so special about this calendar is that it is our 25th birthday edition. And so um, many of you know this, but equine advocates will turn 25 on February 27th. It's a huge milestone for us. And of course, we're not going to be able to celebrate it as we would normally do if we weren't in the middle of this pandemic. But we will make do, and like everyone else, perhaps a year from now, we'll be back to normal. But in the meantime, we will be celebrating in our own special way, probably with a virtual event of some kind. So just uh, stay on top of this, and we will keep you informed about what we're doing. Connor would have been a PNU fall had he been born in Canada. His mother, Annie, was part of a large rescue of 46 PMU mares who we rescued between October 2003 and March of 2004. Connor was born in 2004. And as many of, as many of you know, uh, PMU, the Premarin uh, PMU industry, is an industry that we have been fighting to see an end for since we you know, started this organization back in 1996. It's one of those industries that's no longer necessary. You know, I'll get a little personal here, but I went to see my own doctor just for a checkup uh, not that long ago, and I always give him a calendar and told him about Connor, and he said to me, are people still, are doctors still prescribing these drugs? I don't prescribe them, which I was really happy to hear. But those of you uh, who go to the doctor and talk to them about uh, PMU, menopause, and whatever, uh, they should mention uh, if they're still prescribing it, and if so, why? Because it's just an old, archaic, barbaric uh, drug, uh, group of drugs, because it's Premarin, Prempro, Duavi, and then there are these creams that contain PMU, pregnant mares urine, in them. Uh, these are no longer necessary, and uh, you know, as we've stated over and over again, we have a, a whole new line of drugs that many doctors say are better and safer for women who take them. So it's a conversation worth having with your doctors. To learn more about the PMU industry, just go to our website under issues. But as you can see, Connor and his pastor mate, uh, Jeffrey Mack, is in the next stall. Uh, were both born in the United States. Uh, Connor's mother was Annie, who is still alive. Uh, Jeffrey Mack's mother is Fiona. Sadly, she passed away in 2015. But because we did that rescue, these two are, are here today. And I can't say it strongly enough that PMU drugs are no longer necessary and I think that we should all have conversations with our doctors about it. Just because we all have grandmothers, mothers, aunts, relatives who may be taking it, and they should know that it's, it's not a healthy choice for treating the symptoms of menopause. This other handsome guy is Jeffrey Mack, and he is Connor's pasture mate here at, at Equine Advocates Rescue and Sanctuary. I also wanted to mention that we have an incredibly exciting new item that everybody can use, and that is an Equine Advocates face mask. So between the calendar and the face mask, these are wonderful gifts for the holidays, stocking stuffers, and great gifts even just for the new year. As you all continue to shop for the holiday season, please consider uh, purchasing a face mask and or a calendar. It will help the organization, and you'll get to read about um, a lot of the horses that are here, of the stories, photographs in the calendar, and of course we all need face masks, and I think uh, Jeffrey Mack agrees. I hope that during this holiday season, you'll think about uh, your female relatives and friends who may be taking drugs that contain PMU or pregnant mare's urine, and urge them to start the new year with something better and safer. And at the same time, as you do your 
your holiday shopping, think about perhaps purchasing our 2021 calendar and or our equine admits face mask as the proceeds will go to help the horses here, including Jeffrey Mack and Connor. Until next time, thank you so much.